one perfect solution that are clues that we try to trick our team. Hello there everyone, I'm Crazy Caleb, and today we are taking a look at a fairly simple module, but it's a rather hard a rather hard one to explain, question mark. Now, you can obviously tell this module easily because it has a question mark that looks like from Super Mario Bros. So what we need to do is we need to disarm it by pushing and holding it at any time, doesn't matter what time you hold it, and there will be four different symbols um, that will flash through um, cycling here, all of which are from the Mario games. So what we need to do is we need to find each of these symbols here, and it's going to be hard to represent because I'm going to have to hold it down, and I'm going to have to do the math in my head. So what it's going to have to be is, you guys are going to have to watch me visually, um, or listen to what I'm saying, as I'll try and describe it to you, and we're going to solve these modules. So what we need to do is we need to take the sum of the numbers associated with each image. So we're going to grab four of these images, it will always be four cycling, no more, no less. And what we need to do is we need to figure out where on earth um, we need to go. Because we're going to subtract 15 until we get a number between 1 and 15. And what we're going to do is, let's say, I'll draw an example of So we'll have uh, this mushroom right here, sort of the one with the red background I would describe it. Because there is a similar one that has a white background and with red dots. It's very important to note that a lot of these items are very similar. However, some unique ones are here and present, like the poison mushroom, the leaf, and the feather. So, the stars are easily going to be the hardest ones to worry about. We have, we have a bright yellow with the background, we have sort of a pinkish with the background, and we have no background and orange, I would say. So let me draw an example to just explain what this module is actually doing. So let's let's say these four symbols were flashing, just by any chance. So we would add them up, that would be an 8 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2. It doesn't matter what order you add them up because you are adding them up. It's literally that simple. So from this we get a 16 in this case. But as it says up in these rules here, we need to subtract 15 until we get a number between 1 and 15. So let's do that. Uh, 16 minus 15 is a 1, and that's our number. So now we're going to go in reading order. We're going to count the images in the table and pick one corresponding to the number we got. And that is our target image. So in this case, we actually got a 1. So let's go on here. 1. That's what we're going to work with here. If the target image is not displayed on the module, which it wasn't in this case in my example, these four were right here, um, we need to pick the spatially closest image, uh, center to center, in the table that is present on the module. So taking a look, from this point we need to find the image that is closest to our target image in this case. And that is when we're going to release when the last digit of the bomb's timer is that number associated with the target image. So from here, from this top left corner right here, this is the closest right here. This symbol because it has its two spaces away and the star is three, so this is the closest. And if there were, and if there are similar ones, in this case several, either may be used, those are valid answers. So what this means is this was the closest symbol right here, and that means we release this module when the last digit of the timer is an 8. But now let's try an actual example. And you're going to have to bear with me. I'll get, I guess the way I would do it is I'll give you uh, the row and the column. That's the way I'll describe it. Or you can just visually do it in your head because this is a rather simple module. So let's hold it down. So we have the fire flower with colors. That's a 1 in this case. We have the poison mushroom. That's a 4. We have the feather, that's a 2, and we have the 1-up mushroom, except it doesn't have a face, it doesn't have eyes in this case. So that would be a 1, 7, a 4, and a 2. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add those numbers up. In this case, 1 plus 7 is an 8, 8 plus 4 is a 12, and 12 plus 2 is a 14. So now we're going to count in reading order 14, 14 spaces. 
In this case, that will give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And this is our target image. Of the images we were given here, 1, 2, 3, 4, which one's the closest to this one? It would be the feather. So now what we're going to do is release this module when the last digit of the timer is a 2. Let's do that. And just like that is a solved module. It's not about when the image pops up on the module, it's about the time. So the images are irrelevant except when it comes to the math part. Let's take a look at a couple because this is a rather simple module. Let's hold it down. We have the one-up mushroom with the white background, in this case with the face. We have the fire flower with the with eyes in this case. We have a star with a with a border, but it's sort of pinkish, right there. And our last symbol is the other fire flower with colors in it, with the uh, maroon center. So in this case, we have uh, a value of one, we have a value of eight, and we have a value of four, and we also have a value of one right here. These four symbols. So in this case, we'll add them all up. One plus eight is nine. Nine plus one is ten. Ten plus four is fourteen. So let's count 14 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We then did the, the yellow star again with the border. Out of these four images right here, which one's the closest? This one is, because that is one space away. It doesn't include diagonals, so don't get them mixed up. So let's release it when the last digit of the timer is a 1. Is the right answer. And just like that is the solved model. Let's take a look at one final example. So the hardest part is kind of just describing to your experts what the symbols are, but of course you can get kind of creative with how you wish to describe them. So taking a look, we have the star with no back with no border. And we have the one-up mushroom with a white background, white head. We have the uh, growth mushroom, I would say. Um, with the red background, and we have the poison mushroom. So in this case, these are our four symbols. So let's add them all up. 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 8 is 15, and 8 plus 15 is going to be a 23. However, taking a look at the rule here, um, we have to keep it in the range of 15. So 15 might have, uh, subtracted from 23 is an 8. So let's count eight spaces. In this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right dead in the center. And this target symbol actually happens to be present in this case. So we're going to release this module when the last digit of the timer is an eight. Let's do that. Nine and an eight. Is an acceptable answer. That's absolutely And brilliant. just like that is a solved module. Thank you guys for watching. As always, stay crazy, stay cool. And please know your Super, uh, Super Mario Brothers power-ups, unlike me.